Northrop Grumman has recently introduced an innovative addition to underwater drone technology. A new drone resembling the large species of stingrays, the manta ray. Named the manta ray, this unmanned underwater vehicle not only mirrors the fish of its namesake, but also symbolizes a significant leap in capability for extended range military operations. Developed over a span of four years for the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, this project integrates advanced technologies, including the ability to harness energy from the ocean. So, in this video, we're taking a closer look at Northrop Grumman's latest advancement in uncrewed underwater vehicles, providing an initial glimpse into the capabilities and potential applications of this new class of underwater drones. Let's dive right in. The Manta Ray project dates back to 2020, the goal of developing a new class of unmanned underwater vehicles, or UUVs, capable of extended duration, range, and payload capacity. Tasked with executing underwater missions with minimal human intervention, the Manta Ray drone needs to navigate through a myriad of technical hurdles, including mitigating the corrosive effects of seawater, preventing marine life from impeding moving components, and addressing the limitations posed by various forms of electromagnetic radiation in underwater environments, notably sunlight. DARPA and Northrop Grumman recognized the opportunity to tackle these multifaceted challenges through a unified program, thereby pushing the boundaries of UUV technology forward. So, what do we know about this project and its prototype so far? In early April this year, Northrop Grumman announced that they've finished the full-size prototype of the Manta Ray and posted a photo and video of the drone, coinciding with the Navy League's Sea Airspace Conference. The content showcased the drone's glider-like body and rounded nose. Taking both its name and shape from the Manta Ray, the largest and most spectacular type of ray, the UUV boasts a wingspan of up to 9 meters. This first prototype is theoretically capable of carrying a payload and navigating autonomously without human assistance. Designed to be modular and energy efficient, it can be fitted into various containers for deployment worldwide. Its energy efficiency is derived from its ability to anchor itself to the seabed and hibernate as needed. Inspired by the manta ray's body shape, which enables efficient underwater swimming, the UUV mimics the animal's graceful gliding motion to conserve energy and maximize movement efficiency. This evolutionary strategy has ensured the manta ray's survival relatively unchanged for millions of years. The mode of underwater flight is crucial for a drone designed for extended autonomous operation, such as the manta ray. While the UUV doesn't flap its wings, it uses small propellers for movement, prioritizing energy efficiency. But how would the underwater drone get powered in the first place? One option is solar power, with panels on the drone's surface for charging. But as we mentioned previously, sunlight fades with depth, so the drone might need to surface, risking detection. Another option is wave energy. DARPA showcased a prototype in 2022 with a device that turns water movement into electricity. This lets the UUV recharge while staying submerged, reducing the risk of being detected. It's expected that the manta ray will use this technology too, although this is still not officially confirmed. The US military is showing an increasing interest in unmanned technologies and their potential applications on the battlefield. The U.S. Navy, in particular, aims to create what they call a hybrid fleet, combining sailors and marines with smart, automated, and autonomous platforms. So, what do you think about the new class of UUVs that Northrop Grumman is spearheading? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.